Hi, in this video we are going to see how to add a CAPTCHA to a form. This is the Yahoo site. This is the page where uh, uh, one can uh, uh, register to get a free email. And here they, uh, we are asked to uh, put these characters here to uh, uh, this text box. And we do that because uh, Yahoo want, wants to be sure that a human is typing these characters not a program because a program can easily read the characters like here but it's hard to read uh, characters from an image but that's not always uh, the case because uh, captcha uh, gets cracked like like all other uh, software so let's begin and uh, to demonstrate the use of captcha we are going to use uh, an, an extension to uh, Dreamweaver. Let me show you where to get the extension. It's a free one and uh, it's in this site here, technorama.org. Descargas, it's uh, Spanish, uh, I think. And here we look for cap CAPTCHA and there it is. It is the extension. It's uh, a small very small program so here i extracted it here and there is the extension i have already installed it but i will uh, install it again to show you it's very easy and there we have the php captcha image and there is the author andres kayon so now what we need to do is create a form but we need to create a site because we are going to use php so create a new site call it just test01 uh, and uh, localhost test01 and uh, i type uh, enter to uh, go to the next page because i can't see uh, the uh, buttons uh, below uh, enter and here i will use uh, i will edit and test locally so i need to create uh, a folder in my www root a folder so test one and select then next and here i need to add test zero one and test and it's working so next no i don't need to use a remote server and there we have our uh, site so now what I need to do is create a new file, a new PHP. It doesn't matter XHTML or HTML. And enter. There we have our page. Now I need to insert a form. This form, it doesn't matter the name, so I will uh, just keep the, uh, the original one. Then I add a text field, which I will na name. Okay. I won't change its name, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Then I add another text field, and this time I will call it code. And that's it now. A button form, then button call it submit. Okay, I need to be sure that it's a submit button uh, value and it's a submit. Okay, so now. What I need to do is uh, select the form and go here and give it a an action. So it's um, index dot php and the target it doesn't matter. Then I save this and call it index dot php because I don't want to send uh, these values. I want to send these values to the same page. I don't need to send it, send them anywhere. And here I will add the use the captcha now. So I go to application, and here I will add a new behavior. So captcha, and here I give it uh, a width and uh, a height. I will just choose three. Doesn't matter here. I will add some uh, the background color and uh, here. Um, yellow yeah and here the noise uh, color and here i will 
tell it to use the text field too as the captcha text field and okay so here it, gene it has generated the uh, image and here we will type the code so save this uh, we aren't done yet I need to go here and grab the, this file here which has the font that the image uses to generate the image so there it is and uh, that's it now I need to go, uh, put the the cursor here and go to the PHP code and grab this uh, this um, message here again go here and uh, let's just go here and add the this this code here this sample code it's echo the uh, message so it will tell the user if the uh, if he has typed correctly the code in the image or not and that's all we need to do let's test this now so f12 uh, and there is the uh, our form and uh, there is the image so here uh, let me just type some crazy characters and submit and here we get invalid code let's now uh, type uh, the real code so 68d submit and there we go it, it just it is telling us thank you so that was very easy thank you